A few years ago, I started a Linux 2 server project in C from scratch. Now, I want to implement moving NPCs and tackle on some refactors. Let's begin. It's been a while since I worked on this project, so it took me a few minutes to remember how I did things. Anyways, the first thing I wanted to do was to spawn an orc from a chat message. Luckily, I have already made something similar. So this command will spawn an orc that will walk to some coordinates. In here we can see the command working. The orc gets spawned in the player's position. Now we have to make it walk. I'm not sure which packet we have to send from the server to make an NPC walk. This is where the L2J project comes in handy. The L2J project is an amazing project. This server I'm writing couldn't been done without it. So huge thanks to them. I'm gonna leave a link to their website in the video description. Now, using the L2J project as their documentation, I'll look into which packet I have to send to make an NPC walk. I did recall there was a move to packet, and I'm gonna try it and see if that's the one. But first, let's define the coordinates to which the NPC will have to walk. Finishing some details, we're ready to send the packet and see if it works. We write the command and it's working. Well, kinda. Even though the server exploded, we have confirmed which packet we have to send to make an NPC walk. Now, onto the second part of this video, refactoring. This is where it gets really messy, since there was a lot of code I wanted to clean up before adding more features. Specifically, I wanted to change how the information gets stored. Currently, all data lives in memory at runtime. Once the server is shut it down, everything gets lost. Besides that, I wanted to enforce all actions and requests to be queued up instead of being immediately handled. I think I will make a whole video for this. Going back to storing data, this is where I decided to use SQLite. It is an amazing piece of software, and it's really easy to get started. I also like how it's been built, where you just copy and paste databases and it just works. This took a lot of time and reading. Also, I wasn't sure to add it into the video since there isn't much to see. But in the end, I decided it will be interesting to document the whole process. And finally, we can see some progress. The session information is getting stored into the database. But now guess what? Getting into the game isn't working yet, so time to fix that. I won't bore you with another high-speed clip, but trust me, there was a lot of work. So after updating my VS Code theme and a few more tweaks, it is working again. I know it seems like little progress, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now that I finally completed this refactoring, I can move up to more interesting things like timers, AI, and maybe some mini games that I would like to implement. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you would like to contribute to the project, it is open source and hosted on GitHub. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Goodbye!